Hi, it's Dave. I'm really excited today because I'm going to be showing you how I make my special marinara sauce. Now, this is something that once you've had it, it's so fresh and it's so delicious, you're never going to do canned again. I mean, never. Uh, it's really simple to make and it's something that I want to show you. Now, it's really versatile too because I use this stuff on everything. I use it on my air fryer chicken tenders, uh, the marinara sauce. I do it with the uh, chicken parm. I do it with meatballs. I put this stuff on my zoodles. Uh, vegetable, uh, the vegetable penne pasta or the whole wheat pasta. I do a, uh, a penne a la vodka, which is phenomenal with this. And uh, a margarita pizza even. You can use this on practically anything and it stores well in the fridge and it's really not complicated to make at all. So I'm going to go over the ingredients right now with you and uh, let's put it all together because like I said it comes together quick and it's really simple. Mm, can't wait. Okay for the ingredients. Very very simple. Uh, first thing I'm going to use is a good quality olive oil. Uh, I like the Lucini olive oil and uh, I'm going to uh, use a quarter cup of that in a heavy cast iron pot, like a coated Le Creuset pot. The other thing I want to do is, I know you're going to say, holy mackerel, a quarter cup of that fresh uh, garlic that I chopped up earlier. This stuff is amazing. And I know that you think, wow, a quarter cup, that's going to be a lot. Trust me on this one. The other thing is, we're going to add that palm full of fresh basil and uh, parsley. The smell of this is just incredible so fresh and so good and I've also got a teaspoon of uh, just uh, some sea salt and some fresh ground black pepper and I've got three cans of San Marzano's um, peeled tomatoes I love this brand I love the tomatoes I mean it's just so fresh you can you can just smell it as soon as you open the can you're just like mmm it's just like it came off the vine so quickly, first thing we're going to do is get a bowl and I'm going to set a colander down on top of it and I'm going to start putting in these tomatoes. And I'm just going to want it to strain as best as it can. While we're straining this, why don't we go over and uh, take care of the oil on the stove. Okay, let's uh, fire up the gas. And I'm going to set that just about to a little bit of a medium high heat. While I got that going, I am going to add the quarter cup of olive oil. And we're just going to let that heat up. All right. As that's starting to heat up, I'll put that, that garlic in there. And I'm just going to spread that around. And what we're going to do is we're just going to wait until it gets kind of a golden color. Shouldn't take any more than you know, two or three minutes. All right, we've been stirring this now for about two or three minutes and uh, it's just starting to turn a little bit of a golden color. So what I want to add to that is I want to add in the um, basil and the parsley. And I'm also going to add in the uh, salt and pepper. Wow, if you could be in the kitchen and take in the, the scent of this, it's incredible. You got to make sure you don't burn the garlic. Uh, you just want it nice and brown like it is. Believe me, burnt garlic is not good. Okay, now that we've got that incorporated a little bit, it's time to take the 
the uh, tomatoes. And what I do with this is I break it kind of with my thumb a little bit. And I break this all up with my hand into the pot. And we're going to leave the juice out for just now, you know, the juice that we strained. But uh, I'm going to break these up by hand. And once we get them all broken up, we're going to stir them up. And we're going to let it slow simmer for about 25 minutes. Okay, it's been 25 minutes. Let's see what we got. Ready for this? Oh man. That's a 25 minute marker. Okay, what we're going to do, folks, is we're going to grab all that strained uh, tomato juice that we, well, the juice that we strained out. We're just going to add that in. All that golden deliciousness. Mm. Oh man, you are not gonna, you're just not gonna believe this when you taste it. And the video, I'm sure, just doesn't do it justice. This is so amazing. Now I'm gonna take a quick. I'm going to take a quick little taste. I'm curious. Oh. <laughs> Holy mackerel. Okay. Um, yeah. That is good. Good, good, good. Okay, we're going to bring it up to a boil. And once it boils, we're going to shut it down and just let it warm to room, or cool to room temperature. At that point, we can jar it up and... Uh, Wow, that is so good. Um, wow, that's, that's all I can say. I mean, when I say incredible, I mean incredible. This is amazing. All right, so let's get this to a boil, and uh, I'll be back once it's all set. I mean, just... A look at that look how thick it is and wow so fresh <laughs> I can't even tell you how good that is so anyway I hope you try it and um, like I said, I, I put it on top of chicken parm. I put it on, uh, I mix it in. I don't need a lot of pasta. If I do, it's whole wheat. That's just a little bit, maybe about a little less than a cup. But, um, and that's just a treat, like once every two weeks, I'm going to do that. But uh, on the chicken parm, the baked chicken parm, the baked tenders, um, you spoon some of this over zoodles and uh, the zucchini noodles. And I, I mean, you can put this on anything. You can put it on broccoli. You could, it is just so amazing. You have to try it. So. I know I went on quite the rant about how delicious that is, but I mean, you, words can't describe it. You really have to try it. It's, it's so easy, so fresh, so amazing. It's just so good. And it goes on everything. So anyway, you let it cool, and then you put it in these mason jars. <coughs> I got a vacuum sealer that I seal it up with, but um, you can jar it if you want, or you can just leave it. If you're going to use it uh, a lot, you can just leave it in the fridge uh, with a screw cap on it. But uh, I, I hope that this helped you. I hope that you enjoy it. Uh, let me know what you think of it. And uh, I got to go back in and make another video, and this one's going to be for... Uh, air fryer coconut shrimp <laughs> with a uh, orange marmalade uh, dipping sauce. Uh, it's sugar-free. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it.